Singapore is set to launch its largest test of the vehicle-to-grid technology come November. V2G is a technology that allows a two-way flow of electricity between the batteries of electric vehicles and the power grid. The three-year pilot could help Singapore meet the increasing demand for electricity. 15 commercial vans and 10 V2G-enabled electric vehicle chargers will be part of the test, led by Strides in Pongo. And for that, we're joined uh, by Mr Chen Xinwei. Now, Mr Chen is the Deputy General Manager and Head of Technology and Development of Strides Frontier. Uh, Mr Chen, thank you for joining us tonight. I, I just want to understand first more about this technology. Explain to us how V2G technology works. Uh, include also, if you would, the additional equipment and infrastructure that could potentially be required to make this successful. Sure. So for V2G technology, it's actually about the transformation of electric mobility to energy storage. Mm. Right? So it first allows the bi-directional flow of uh, the electricity from the electric cars yep. to the grid and vice versa. Okay. And that makes electric cars like a power bank. Mm. So when you need a power bank, you just plug in and the power bank will give you that extra electricity that you need. And this is exactly what the grid needs sometimes. Right? So throughout the days, uh, some of the some in the morning when you don't need a lot of electricity, the demand is low. It's all right, right? But when you go to the afternoon when the demand is high, uh, the grid might not be able to compensate some of the increase in demand. And B two G allows electric vehicles to use as energy storage to then supply the extra uh, and extra energy for to meet these demands. So if we talk about the infrastructure actually required, so what we need is actually a V two G enabled chargers. Yeah. And that's for first and foremost. Yep. And of course, we also need the vehicles to be able to communicate to the chargers. And hence, you can allow the bi-directional flow of the electricity. It sounds very expensive. Uh, yes, it is expensive at this point of time. But as any technology, it's going to be expensive at the start. But it's going to go down. Uh, and, and like what the EV, what I've seen in the EV, it's going to get cheaper. And with large-scale implementation, I think that will actually drive some of the costs down. All right, this will sound like a very basic question because it is. Yeah. Now, if cars are to become power banks, as it were, so you're saying, for example, when we do not need so much, they store, yeah. then when they need it, they can supply themselves. Is that how it works? Or what they store goes back into a main bank and then that's redistributed? Right. Or is it yeah. each car runs on what it has stored earlier in yeah. the day? So each car, you can think of it like a small power bank, right? So they will store electricity yes. and, and use it to power their drivetrain, right? Uh, but often you don't need to use all of this and there are some excess that is left. And what do you do with this some of this excess? And when the grid demands for it, you can actually supply to that. So it feeds back. It feeds back to the grid. And so, it's redistributed. And it's redistributed back to the grid, right? And if, if, we, if we talk about the large scale implementation, I think that's why, why this is important. Uh, it allows all the small little uh, energy uh, uh, EVs to become a big power bank. So if you aggregate them, it will become sufficient energy to then supply back to the grid. Mm. And that's what we are looking at. Okay, so I so understand the technicalities, but, but how is V2G, is it going to significantly help Singapore balance its electricity demand and supply? Uh, because we have other smart apps, you know, we have other smart grid tech. So do you see this as a silver bullet or do you see this being more as part of a suite of solutions. Right, okay. So uh, we see this as a part of the suite of solutions, mm. uh, especially important for fleet owners. So, so for Strides, which is the commercial arm of SMRT, uh, we provide what we call electric mobility as a service, the end-to-end -end solution. So part of the, the, the journey of that is to uh, ensuring that we help mobility sector to decarbonize through digital and data. So V2G actually allows that to happen and you can actually use it to offset some of the costs uh, implemented uh, for, for as you, you, you embark on this decarbonization journey. Mm. Yep. So uh, part of, I mean, I think you, are, you, 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 you have sort of answered this, but yeah. I want more detail on this. So Strides, which is, as you mentioned, the corporate arm of SMRT Corporation, right. uh, it's also developing a fleet management system. So part of Cutting costs, uh, yep. decarbonizing uh, the mobility. Yep. Uh, how does this fleet management system work when it comes to tracking EVs to maximize, I suppose, where they are organizing right. fleet right. schedules? Right. So one of the key points which I highlighted uh, is that each of these EVs behave like a power bank, right? 
Uh, but we need to make sure that these EVs are being tracked so that we can monitor their energy flow. So when uh, there is a required uh, demand from the grid, we can then match them uh, to the demand and then power it. So to, in order to do that, we must be able to manage the grid uh, as well as manage the, our fleet. And that means there's integration between two, two platforms that actually required uh, in this particular uh, system to work. All right, so um, final question. You, you've got a test bed coming up in Pongo. Yes. That's in November. Yep. Uh, you've got a timeline of three years. Yep. And you've got, what, 15 vans that are sort of in this, yes, in this pilot space, program? Right. Uh, yep. We're a long way from it actually coming to market. Right, All right. So, so we uh, as Strides uh, and, and part of the SMRT as well, uh, always believe in uh, innovation. Mm. I think this is uh, in, in the spirits of what we are doing. And we also think that innovation is a key to provide better services uh, and better outcomes for our customers. And I think through this project, uh, we can uh, be able to uh, look at the potential of using V2G to benefit our clients. And more importantly, to benefit Singapore as we go into the decarbonisation journey and to help Singapore eventually to hit uh, achieve uh, the 2050 goals of net zero. And everything counts, doesn't yes, it? Yes, everything counts. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you so much uh, for your company with us here tonight. And I've been speaking with uh, Dr. Chen Sinwei. We've been speaking with Dr. Chen, Deputy Mr. Chen rather, who was a uh, Deputy General Manager and Head of Technology and Development of Astride's Frontier.